Abraham Alvarez says, if you can remake any bad video game film adaptation to make it better, what would it be? This is a tough question because this is actually every video game film adaptation. That's true. Literally everyone has been bad in some way. Some right. have been better yep. than the bad ones, but they're still not great. Remember those scenes in House of the Dead that actually went to the arcade game footage during a gunfight? Is that true? Yeah. Really? It's really bad. Yeah. During a gunfight, it cuts to in-game footage of the like, awful House of the Dead one. It's really bad. Wow. Yeah. That sounds really did anyone have, Did anyone actually make it through the Doom movie? Yeah. No. I remember the first person scene. Yeah. That was there the only was thing one I scene, footage. right? Yeah, there was one entire action scene that was first person. And people were like, that's that's amazing, they did it. You did a doom. Good job, <laughs> Rocky Maivia. You you, uh, you glued the gun at the bottom of the camera and ran around and shot a Photoshop demon for yeah, half an hour. it was really impressive. I hated that movie. So I never saw that movie. That was the first <laughs> thing that came out where I was just like... Critic, Max. No, <laughs> like seriously, why even call it Doom? Like yeah. I remember being so mad about that. It's like, oh, we've decided to just remain faithful to the core property by having a, a two-minute scene that's in first person about this... The story where the, oh, the gateway to hell is opened up on Mars, but we're going to have it be yeah. th- th- science experiments escape yeah. on the moon. Like, Do you yeah. know what the process of adaptation is? Like, yeah. That's no, a good point. Yeah. No, no film based on the book is the 20 minutes of text on screen. Yeah, yeah. sure. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll read this chapter. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. but I mean so like... I'm done with this page, right? Okay. <laughs> but I mean, like taking the core elements of just, I mean, like I would love to see a Doom movie done right, where it's like, guess what? We did weird satanic experiments on a Mars colony and it didn't work out yep. too well. Yep. Satan's a cyborg for reasons we're unclear of. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, all things considered, the one that got the closest is probably Mortal Kombat. And that's because the source material is not that intellectual to begin with. But I would love to see a remake of the original Mortal Kombat movie that is just super gory. Like, yeah. just go really hard R. There was that just, web series a couple years ago. Yeah. Right, which is pretty yeah. close, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie is obviously one that's just like, I don't know what happened there. That is so far off the mark of the source mm-hmm. material. It's basically like deviant art. <laughs> they got yeah. shy guys in there. They drive a dump truck. Yeah, it's so I mean, weird. That was pretty but, much yeah. the moment when Nintendo was like, all right, well, no one's touching our things ever again. Ever again. Yeah. Yeah, I think that movie just, just put... Put them, put them in the corner yeah. for so long. And then there are always those rumors of like John Woo was attached to a Metroid movie for yep. a while. Wasn't there a and Ratchet like, and Clank movie in the works? Yeah, it's coming out in yeah. like a month. Is that re- still for real? Yeah. yeah. Wow, awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, there was the Uncharted movie that got kicked around for a while. Should do a new Tomb Raider movie based on the new totally. Tomb Raider games. Like that also, you can just cast awesome. her. Well, while they prevaricate on what they're doing yeah. with Indiana Jones, is a really good window for them to make that movie. movie. Yeah. Yep. And like basically, like because Uncharted, if it ever happens. Yep. Do it before Indiana Jones come back in whatever form. Well, also mm-hmm. now in like 2016 or whenever this movie would come out, like the fact that stuff like The Hunger Games and Episode Seven, like you can have these rad like female centric yeah. movies. You can and literally cast the the woman who plays Camilla Luddington. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's amazing. Yeah. She'd be fun. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'd love to see Street Fighter. <clears throat> like they yeah. they've done two Street Fighter movies. I mean live action and they've both been pretty stupid the first ones there were two live action there's a second me? one that came out with uh, Kristen Crook what's her face oh yeah. that's right the Legend Chun-Li, of the, Chun-Li yeah. that's right the Chun-Li movie I totally forgot and about that's, that one that's one of those movies where you have to basically go through the cast to figure out who's supposed to be playing what character right yeah because there's like you know they're like oh that's Balrog in the background there hiding behind that trash can or whatever yeah. like, why, why not just actually make it about the characters but were, were I they like, cameos or like nods like, I mean, there's like it, there's scenes like in the um, like, like a guy picks up his boxing gloves and you're like That's I, for, I forget exactly. It's yeah. it's definitely like they didn't have any of the weird fun charm of Street yeah. Fighter. But mm-hmm. I'd love to see a movie where it's like, yeah, this is about a world where international terrorism is dealt with with kung fu. Yeah, like all of the all of the wars well, are fought in the streets. Like it's really weird that fighting. we got you and I were talking about this on Up at Noon, but we we got that first wave of really bad comic book movies back in the day, and then this. The last 10, 15 years have been like, let's get this right this time. Let's mm-hmm. let's actually get in there and do, let's do the right version of, of this movie and this movie and this movie. Uh, that hasn't happened with video game movies. No. We, like you could argue that we're on the cusp. But yeah, yeah mm-hmm. I mean, there's, there's films in the in production. Like one Assassin's Creed, Warcraft yeah. and Assassin's Creed, like, especially two of the best directors yet attached. Yeah. Because yeah. so far we've gone, there's been a lot of crappy movies. On the whole, the talent involved in terms of writing mm-hmm. and direction haven't been at that top level. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you, you bowl or whatever is not, you know, yeah. he's he's hiding in his uh, boxing ring or whatever, <laughs> surrounded by sharks. It's weird man. I don't know how that guy sleeps. <laughs> is the way you got, are you guys hopeful for Assassin's Creed? Yeah, I mean, I saw Macbeth, that adaptation. It was stunning. incredible. Yeah. It was like, yeah. it was one of the most gorgeous Shakespearean adaptations I've ever seen. And I mean, I think, I think the more Assassin's Creed leans on being just a gorgeous period piece and the less it's like, I mean, if they... If they do the future stuff where the guy Absolutely goes in the memory stuff. tomb, yeah, that sucks. Like, I'm sorry, that stuff doesn't work well in the game, and it's not. It's going to work even worse in the movie. I think it'd be work work much better in the. You think the so? Movie. Yeah, I think that kind I of stuff so. lends itself to more 
straightforward because you don't have to yeah. walk around day to dine or to say you know for a lot of people that's going to be their first experience of that world yeah and that conceit I remember playing the first assassin's creed game that desmond stuff in that first game wasn't boring at all mm -hmm. I, no i didn't find it i was like what is actually going on? And there's actually in the years since then, there's never been a substantial payoff yeah. to make that yes. feel retroactively satisfying. Mm -hmm. if yeah. you look back and go, ah, oh, they never really... Well, the, the best thing they've done with it in the last few years has been to preemptively tell the audience is that there's not as much Forget in it. it. Yeah. Syndic in this syndicate game. goes yeah. basically directly, cut, like breaks the fourth wall going, yeah. can we stop doing this? Stuff? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And they totally. just cut right to it, which yeah. I think like, I, and I guess you're right, Max, in that, in that like if, if you start the movie showing this stuff, it could be pretty cool. Well, an Assassin's yeah, and Creed movie that, that uses the, the the weird time travel ancestor stuff, yeah. it'll basically be just like a present day Matrix. Where I mean, that's people what in present Fassbender, day are traveling yeah. back. Yeah, it was literally just it. quoted in Empire as saying that, like, yeah. Matrix is an inspiration. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think the, be the better part of that, too, is that Avatar. it'll be a scene on a. Stop talking about Avatar. It'll be a scene on a screen that happens that you don't have to actually control. Like when you're watching a movie, you'll be like, well, that's a scene and that's a scene. And one was more exhilarating <laughs> than the other. But when you're playing the. The, the future stuff or the modern day stuff in Assassin's Creed like you don't have any of the skills of your old character like you might climb up on a box or a crate or like a, a wall every now and then but you're like it's just not the same put me back in the in the ancient times yeah you know? the film I really want to see and they've gone really quiet on it is the Splinter Cell movie with Tom Hardy, Tom Hardy. oh yeah, yeah. That, like, that's, that's gone really quiet I think There's, a lot of it will hinge on Assassin's Creed there they are they... so many movies like I'm putting together a feature of video game movies in development right now right. there are so many just things cause? that were announced Just Cause Mass Effect Gore Bravinsky's Bioshock uh, I want a Thief. Far Cry movie Thief well, the, there was the, the Witcher just movie. got announced a lot of the kind of there was a Square Enix um, rights are owned by this guy called Adrian Ascariah yeah. who um, came in to the London office and we talked to him and he's not adverse to the idea of having a Square Enix shared movie universe right where you could have just just calls exist in the same world as Deus Man. Ex yeah yep and Deus uh -huh. Ex is the future of that world, and oh, Thief weird. is the prequel yeah. to that world. And I mean, Call of Duty is about to have its giant cinematic universe, whatever yeah. the hell that means. The CODC so weird. Cod Codcoo. Codcoo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Far, Far Cry is, is a thing that if you made a movie of that and you adapted something that already exists, it would be weirdly kind of meta derivative because those movies or those games yeah. are already drawing from stuff. Whereas each one, they're all. None of them are related. The whole thing is that mm. they're open world games based yeah. in an open world. So what's the point? You know, mm -hmm. why bother making a game of that? Like. If you made if you made a Far Cry three movie, it would be uh, the beach with Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, like, yeah, that's 100%. kind of it already. They already did that. Uh, I, I always think about like the way the first Die Hard was made, where it was just a book that had nothing to do with Die Hard. It wasn't called Die Hard, and they just adapted it and made a new film, and they put Bruce Willis in it. Uh, I think that's the way a lot of video game movies should be made. Yeah, like they should kind of be like, well, we have we have this movie that's kind of like Die Hard. Can it be called Splinter Cell? And it's about this guy that sneaks into a building and have kills you seen a thousand Sicaria? people. Yeah. The end of that movie is the Splinter Cell movie, I want to say. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, Benicio Del Toro infiltrates yeah. the house. Yep. That's exactly that movie. Yeah. Yep. Just do that. Yeah, man, that was a powerful scene. <laughs> yeah.